In today's video, we're gonna give you three practical steps on how to actually renew your mind. We know what God's word says in Romans 12 to do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. We hear this all the time in scripture, but how do we actually do it? We're gonna give you three ways, so make sure you stay all the way to the end because we believe that this video is gonna change the way that you think. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. All right, let's get into it. All right, we're talking about how to renew your mind. The first way that you can practically renew your mind is change what you think about. Yeah, I know it sounds basic, like no duh, but believe it or not, you actually have the choice of what you think about, what you dwell on. We don't always have control over the thoughts that enter our mind, but we do have control about the thoughts that we linger on and meditate on. Philippians 4, 8 says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about those things. See, the things that you think about on a daily reoccurring basis, you actually have a choice about. Some of you, you've been rehearsing negative thoughts every single day for so long that it's just become the way that you think. So one way that you can practically renew your mind is change the things that you fixate on, change the things that you dwell on, and you will start to see God renew your mind. All right, if this is helping you, go ahead, hit that like button if you haven't already. We're getting ready to move on. On the second way that you can practically renew your mind. All right, number two, change the way that you talk. Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruits. We've all heard this scripture at some point, or at least most of us, but we sometimes will think about it in the context of, okay, the power of life and death is in my tongue, so I need to change the way that I talk to other people, about other people. But we also need to be aware that the power of life and death for our own lives is in our tongue. So the way that you talk about yourself, the way that you talk about your situations, you actually have the power of life and death over your own life, not just the people around you. So one way that you can renew your mind is be aware of the things that you say Choose faith. Even if you don't feel it in your emotions, choose to declare things in faith, not fear. All right, we're coming near to the end of this video. Just to recap, number one, how to renew your mind is change the things that you think about. Number two, renewing your mind is change the way that you talk. And now number three, change the things that you do. The Bible says in James 1, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. So you can know all the scripture, you can have attended all the church services, but if you have not become a doer of the word, nothing is actually going to change in your life and in the way that you think. Our pastor, Pastor Mike here at V1 was just preaching on this. He was saying how each morning we're given thousands of new brain cells and each morning we have the opportunity opportunity to train them. And so the best way that you can do that is by changing the things that you do, changing your routine. We talk about building habits. This is actually biblical. So be a doer of the word, not just a hearer of the word. And I, I promise you, it's going to start to renew your mind. So you might have come into this video thinking that renewing your mind is just this esoteric, vague, spiritual practice, but it's actually something that you can start doing right now. Now, change the way that you think, change the things that you think about, change the way that you talk, and change the things that you do. And I promise you, God is gonna start renewing your mind. You're gonna start to have a mind after Christ. You're gonna start meditating on the things of God more and more, and God is gonna do so much in and through your life as you renew your mind. So again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If this helped you, hit the like button. Drop a comment, let us know what stuck out to you in this video, and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video and we'll see you next time.